Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Thursday wherever you are in the world. It's a really sunny day today um, and I've just realised it's Good Friday tomorrow and I don't understand why because we're still in March and I always thought that Easter was in April. Jim, do you understand? I'm, I'm really confused. No. Why can we change the date, like move Easter a whole month? I didn't month? have a clue what day Easter was anyway. You could have told me it was two months ago and I would have said, all right. <laughs> uh, it seems we can move Easter from April to March, but you can't move Christmas from December to November. So I don't really understand how it all works. Um, but anyway, how are you today, Jimbo? Well, I'm a bit, I'm a bit snivelly and I've been sneezing my head off. You must it's have late. heard me sneezing when you were upstairs. Late. Lee's got a cold, you've got a cold, and it's because you two talk all the time. You've given it to each other. <laughs> because you've both got colds. I don't know what's going on. Did I give it to Lee or did Lee give it to me? No, Lee gave it to you from all the models because we don't go out the house, so it must have well, come I from I don't mind if it come from the models. Such a slag. <laughs> um, but apart from that, you're all right, Jimbo. Yeah, yeah. My eyes are a bit watery with it, but I'm all right. Yeah, I, I don't feel terrible. Just feel snivelly and snotty. Yeah. Um, let's have a look who's in the chat. Uh, Ellie's here, but she's not here unless she's in two places at once. But she sent this in the middle, uh, first thing this morning. First here, promo done. Big up, Kate and Jimbo, all in the chat. Thanks for joining. Smash that like button. Big up, Ellie. Lee Smithy Smith, talk of the devil is here. Says, F some of the fan base. We love you, Richie. Yeah, we do. Big up, Auntie Kate. And Auntie Jimbo. <laughs> Auntie Jimbo. <laughs> oh, dear. Big up, Angie Gregory, who comes in and says, I've suffered from mental health problems all my life. Massive respect to Richie. Mental health matters. Couldn't agree more. Um, Shem Tan's in the house. Says, good afternoon to, my, to the most awesomely couple in YouTube, Princess Kate and Sir Jimbo. Hope you're both well and happy. Thank you for such an amazing show that always puts a smile on my face. Very kind Shem words. Um I thought yesterday's show, if I do say so myself, with Mr. Uh, Irish Hot Spell was one of my personal favourites. I really, yeah, really enjoyed it. It was a good show. Yeah. Dave's always a good guest because um, he's very passionate and he, he um, uh, he's honest all the time with his views. He doesn't divert, yeah. you know. And even when you you did, like me and Dave disagree on a lot of stuff, he he's always open to listening to someone else's perspective, yeah. which I think we are too. And we I think that's, what makes, that's the way it yeah. is. That's exactly right. That's what makes a good debate. Um, good afternoon, Future Music. Um, hope you're doing well. Nice to see you. Poor old Donna, the number one Agambar, says, my throat is a bit sore today. Oh, my Big God. Up Chris, Chris Agambar, good to see you, but I see what you're doing. Um, I like it. Um, but yeah, big up to you. There seems to be lots of germs going around. Jim, I'm not kissing you anytime soon. Um, and well, I've had my you. weekly portion, so I'm happy. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so rude. Um, big up, Beth E. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um, oh, poor Lee's got man flu. You I stay know. tucked up warm, Lee. Uh, look after yourself. Big up, Mia. Um, good to see you, my darling. Hope you're well. Um, Future says, I'm in the studio today. Take the break for it. I'll watch you for an hour. Excellent. Nice to see you. To see yeah, you, nice. Yeah, seen you for a while. Uh, big up to Daniel E. Good to see you. Um, also, big up. Mia says, big up to Richie for speaking out and put, letting people know it's okay to ask for help. It's not weak, it's being strong. Um, hi, Kate and Jim. Hope you're both feeling awesome. All good here. Thanks, Spurs GCTV. Um, Easter falls on the first Sunday after the full moon. Oh. Oh, I get ya. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I like a good debate, a mass debate. I knew that was coming from Mia. I knew it. Uh, big up Lee Stay from TV. Hope you're well. Good afternoon, Trophy Dodgers. Big up, Bob. I saw you. I saw you in the terrace yesterday saying that Sol Campbell left the Trophy Dodgers to win trophies. Don't say I didn't clock it. I clocked it. It's all up here. But good to see you regardless. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a show today because um, it's due to be my show with my niece, but she's still not very well. Um, but because of what happened with Richardson yesterday, obviously the news broke. We decided to do a show um about that and anything else that anyone wants to talk about really um big up drew lala hope you're well sorry and yeah bob i can see you laughing obviously it came out yesterday um that richarlison um just how serious he's been suffering with depression um he obviously scored for brazil in the world cup um scored three goals um 
uh, with his scissor kick against Serbia being voted goal of the tournament. But he said that once uh, Brazil got knocked out, the wave of depression, the black dog, whatever you want to call it, took over. Um, I don't know if everyone's watched the video, Jim and I have certainly seen it. Very hard to watch, in my opinion, um, to see somebody so broken um, and so genuinely devastated and and struggling. I mean, Jim, you, you said to me, you'll never w watch it again, obviously, but you said how sad it was. Yeah, I had a tear in my eye when I watched it because I don't think that um, there's a lot of people out there, right, that 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 have got good lives and and normal lives and uh, their their lives tick over. They've got family. They take the kids out. But there's a lot of people out there, Kate, that suffer with stuff, you know. And and I I know um, personally because of you, I've been through things with you, um, with where you, you you do suffer from uh, depression and mental health. Um, but you've got me there to help you get through things. But there's a lot of people who've got it and they haven't got help, you know. And I know Richie's got um, a lot of money and he has got people wrapped around him, but some people don't tell other people, you know. And uh, he, he, it's good that he's got help. But it's, I think it's brilliant what he's done, right, for himself mainly. But it brings awareness to other people, you know, that it is all right to go and ask for help. Because, mm. you know, this is what I said to you the other day um, about these streams. Um, you don't know what people are, are going through on these streams. And there's a lot of people that come in these rooms because they're lonely, because they have got depression, you know, and they haven't got much in their lives money-wise, um, friend-wise, family-wise. there's Everybody's got, a, got, got a, a, in the background somewhere. There's something for a lot of people, you know. And these streams, this is why I say to you about um, keeping keeping the streams nice. People call it pink and fluffy. Because for me, it's important that these people come in the rooms and they they get a bit of release, you know. And there yeah. is people that, that have got a lot of depression and stuff and they won't seek help. So I think mm -hmm. rooms like this help them. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, this it is does. some of the quotes. Um he said, I just played in a World Cup, man, at my peak. I was reaching my limit, you know. I don't know. I'm not going to talk about killing myself, but I was in, in a depression there and I wanted to give up. Even I, who seemed to be mentally strong, after the World Cup, it seemed like it all fell apart. I think the therapist, like it or not, saved me, saved my life. I only thought rubbish, even on Google. I only, ser uh, I only searched for rubbish. I only wanted to see rubbish about death. I mean, that's quite harrowing, but I've got to say, um, as someone who struggles to this day, every day, I've been there and I've, 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 I've been there myself and not, not only once or twice, many, many times. And I think for a footballer, we saw it before with Deli Alley. Um, we've seen it with other players coming out with mental health problems. I think it's so important that people realise that it's not a sign of weakness at all. If anything, it's a strength to come out and say, do you know what? I actually need help. I'm not thinking the way I should be thinking. I'm not feeling the way I should be feeling. Um, yeah. I mean, look, let's, I can give you an example. I'm not going to mention any names, right? But a very close friend of ours is seeing somebody for um, his mental health. And uh, he said to me the other day that it's, it's, it's helping him because he's got a release so it does help to speak to people you know and um i mean look you're lucky because you've got me and i'm quite a strong character so i help you but there's a lot of people that that haven't got people around them and they should seek help you know because um it does help and i've had that from first first hand knowledge from from a good friend of ours Oh, we've got the fraud of all frauds in the house. Big up, Hassam. Do you know what, Jim? Salam alaikum, uh, Hassam. Do you know what, Jim? You, you're so nice to him. If you saw the things he says in in uh, the top six about me, he's so mean to me. And and I just I, I feel like I should put put that out there because when he, he stops talking mean. to you, that's when you got to worry. 
That's it. Yeah. See, Jim did say if he didn't like you, he wouldn't talk to you. It's as easy as that. But he is so mean to me. Uh, he came on yesterday. How comes Kate's on straight facts? It's outrageous, you know. <laughs> um, obviously, a lot of people are saying society's gone soft these days. It weren't like this back in the day. Um, but as I said this morning um, on another stream, no one knows how football was felt back in the day, but it was a different world. People didn't speak about mental health like they do these days. So they may have suffered in silence. And then you've got the likes of Gary Speed, was it, who took his own life? It was Gary Speed, wasn't yeah. it? Um, I think but you've got to, you, Sorry, Kate, to interrupt, but you've got to think, right, that nowadays is different. There's there's a lot more pressure on them. There's a lot more money involved, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot more expectations, right? Yep. And 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 I'm going to be honest, right? But back in the in the day, they probably did have some of them some problems, but they played for the badge, right? Back in the day, and 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 nowadays, I'm not saying they don't play for the badge, but it, it, there's a lot more involved. They're playing for sponsors. They're playing for massive wages. You know, you've seen players flip flop from club to club because they get offered more money. It's a different it's a different thing now, you know, and um uh and the pressures on them are bigger now, I think, as well, with everything involved. So mm -hmm. um I, I mean I I I it's all right with someone saying, yeah, but they earn this a week and they earn that a week. They're still human beings, they've still got a brain and a soul and a heart, you know, and, and things still get to you, doesn't matter how much money you got. Yeah, I think do you know what I think that's I'm guilty of it. I've been really critical of um, Richarlison. And I remember when Deli Ali's interview came out and I said, God, you know, I feel terrible. I've, we know we've been questioning this and questioning that. I'm going to try and be kinder to players. And uh, I know I'm just one person. I don't talk to Richarlison. He don't know anything about me. But you, these are human beings. We look at them as footballers playing for our club. And, you know, when I see some of the things written on social media, which is something I would never do, when I, I'm critical of him, but I'm not an arsehole and a keyboard warrior that would go on. And some of the abuse these footballers get is, is mind-boggling. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, let's look, look, look at Saka. He missed the penalty in the in the World Cup, right? Yeah, Adams, Merson. Saka missed the, missed the penalty in the World Cup and the hate he got. It's just like, it's mind-boggling. And I think to myself, the guy missed the penalty. That's all he's done. He's not, he's not gone out and shot someone. He's missed the penalty and the hate he got was just mind-boggling to me. Look at David Beckham when he uh, got sent yeah. off. The, the people hanging up uh, effigies of him and setting fire to him. And horrendous. These are human beings with feelings, with hearts, with emotions. And I think that's what we've forgotten because they, there's so much money in the game now. Um, they're considered to be assets. Where Yeah, they are assets to their club, but they're also people. Um, Morning, Cassandra. He says, to touch on the issues of speed, uh, one only has to see what Paul Gascoigne is going through. It's always been there, but these days we actually want to know what one is going through. Exactly. I mean, we was only talking about Gaza yesterday, weren't and, we, Jimbo? And I said that I'm disgusted with Tottenham Hotspur because Tottenham Hotspur should step in and and, and help Gascoigne. And people are saying, you can't help him. You can help him, right? He can be helped. I was at a stage in my life with um, drink and drugs where everybody was saying, you can't help me. But I was helped by Kate. But Jimbo, what so you've got to think can of is helped. you can't say for sure that you don't know for 100% sure someone from Tottenham hasn't reached out no, to I'm Gaza. No, I'm not. I'm not. I can't and say that. And the thing is, with, with somebody like you and with someone like Gaza, they've got to own up and say, I need help and be willing to take that help. And I think that I'm sure I read that he's been checked into rehabs and left early. And so if that's the case, there isn't anything you can do. You can't physically force him to stay there. Um, no, I just don't think you should give up on someone. Yeah, Gary Mabbitt's reached out to Mab uh, to Gaza in the past. That's what I mean. You don't know who's reached out. Uh, Neil Shafton says, the whole thing with sports today is you play for the badge or name on the front, not your name on the back. This is why you have a lot of selfish players who do not play for the badge. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mark says, you can be critical because it's football critique, not some of the stuff stupid people want to put out. Yeah. Um, there's a balance of when you can say they had a poor game, but when I see this from Richie, it opens people's eyes to see they're humans before they're football players. Um, yeah, me, uh, me is right. Imagine if the social media was like it is now, the, the abuse Beckham would have got. I mean, it was horrendous anyway, yeah. but can you imagine? Um, it takes the right person to help if the person wants to help. 
Uh, Gaza has turned down help many times. That's what I'm saying. You don't actually can't judge people and say I'm disgusted they didn't reach out because they may well have reached out. Um, uh, the business wrote a whole song about Southgate's penalty miss in '96. Another one. Can you imagine if social media was about when uh, Southgate missed the penalty? I mean, it, it, it's horrendous. Keyboard warriors with no um, repercussions to what they write. Um, I mean, Richie said, uh, today I can say look for a psycho uh, psychologist. If you need a psychologist, look for one because it's nice for you to open up like that and for you to be talking to the person. Today, a psychologist came to thank me for taking this to the world of football, to the world outside the pitch too, because it is very important. And whether we like it or not, it saves lives. I had this prejudice before. I thought it was nonsense. I thought I was crazy. In my family, there are people who think that anyone who goes to a psychologist thinks they are crazy. They think they're insane. But I discovered this and thought it was wonderful, the best thing really and the best discovery I've ever had in my life. And that's another thing, the stigma of going to a psychologist. People used to think if you went to psychologists, psychiatrists, then it means you've got a screw loose, basically. Nowadays, many people have got a psychologist just to have someone to air their problems to. Yeah. And I personally spoken to counsellors myself i think sometimes as much as jimbo like you say you've helped you help me massively on a day-to-day -day level i think sometimes you need to have someone not involved with you to be able to say how you feel on a different level so for me the fact he's come out and made statements like that he's got to be applauded hugely because he's bringing it to like he says to a, a huge stage not just the football world but um, I mean, you could see in his face, anyone who's seen it, uh, I think would agree with me. You can see it in his face. He he was absolutely devastated and you could see that he was in pain. Oh, and it, was, it, it was a hard watch face. for me, very hard watch. And yeah. I couldn't watch it again. Um, I mean, yeah, the tears were streaming down his face. It's horrendous, absolutely horrendous to see it. Um I, I, this with the confession from Richie and the interview last year with Delhi. Do you think young footballers are not getting the support that they need, um, Jim? Poe, what's your thoughts? Um, I, I think I think um, most football clubs w will will support their youngsters if the youngsters go forward to them. I, I can't see um, I can't see any club not helping their players if their players go forward and speak to them. I just can't see it. You know, I would be very, very surprised. So I think the clubs probably do support them if they come forward. I mean, uh, that's what I, what I think. Uh, uh, Anne said that they were helping Richie. Yeah, but what can what what I mean by that is some of them won't come forward because they'd be worried they'd be judged or they won't be allowed to play because they've <clears throat> got mental health issues. So I think maybe they need psychologists anyway regardless of whether they come forward or not, I think there should be a a session a week or something for all players just to monitor how they're getting on in a closed environment. The coach, nobody else knows what the sessions say, unless obviously there was a, a danger to them themselves. But just so to stop this happening, because like I say, some of the youngsters, say Brennan Johnson, say he's suffering from mental health, he might think to himself, I don't want to go forward and speak to anyone because Angie's going to think I'm weak and he won't play me if he thinks I've got issues. Do you see what I'm saying? So maybe they need to have psychologists on a weekly basis yeah. anyway. I, I don't know if clubs do have psychologists or not. I'm not mm. sure. I would, I, would think, I would think they have. But um, talking of Richie's on the telly now. Um, oh, I, 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 um, I would think they, ha they have. I'm not sure, Kate, about if they have or haven't. If they haven't, they should have. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby says, the more celebrities, athletes and prominent people that speak up make it easier for us normal folk to come out and admit we need help. Unfortunately, mental health is considered a weakness. Exactly, exactly what I was just saying. And that is why I think a lot of people sort of in the limelight, and especially youngsters, feel it's a sign of weakness if they were to come out and say, I'm struggling. And that is why I think um, psychiatrists need to be employed by the um the clubs and see everybody regardless because even the ones look at robin williams for example the life and soul of a party made everyone laugh but he was suffering from depression you'd never know yeah. people wouldn't know what's going on in my life at the minute because nobody sees me away from the screen apart from you jim 
everybody's got a story and that's yeah. why you like you always say jim you've got to be kind you've got to try and make things light-hearted and you don't want to be shouting and screaming because people have so much drama and worry and problems in their life everybody that people want to escape from it it, even okay, it, it doesn't matter what, what walk of life you come from, right? If you're rich, poor, you know, it, it, it's it, the only thing that helps the rich is that they can they can get better help. But it, it's everybody. It doesn't matter who you are can have problems. This is why I say about the room, you know. And then when I see another room, some rooms I won't go in because it's it's too toxic for me. And you, know, you don't know what's happening with people, you know behind the scenes and, and it, it doesn't take nothing to be nice it doesn't take nothing to be kind it doesn't take a lot of effort if you can help someone you know help them and, and make someone why, smile uh yeah Helps, of course. Uh, make someone smile yeah make someone smile i mean it's it, it, it's it's the way life should be you know in this day and age because it's hard for a lot a lot of people um you know you've got mums out there with uh, with one kid two kids on their own um uh you know you've got um and it's hard for them you've got a uh, single dads out there you know it's hard for them it's just it, it's it is life is just it, it's shit at times for a lot of people so if you can make someone's life better that's why i hate it when people come into the room and they want to start conflict that's why i say to you don't stand for it because mm -hmm. people that come in your room don't want to listen to shit and watch people having a go at each other and you know, if you want to do that, go and watch it somewhere else, not in this room. Uh, what was Lee Smithy Smith said? Uh, what's Richie doing on the telly? He, he, it's his interview. That's why I wasn't looking at oh, it. It's okay. his interview. Uh, Drew, I know every club has a psychologist, but I'm wondering whether every club, for me, is that, that it should be like a priority or what's the word? Um, Mandatory. Mandatory, yeah, I was going to say non-negotiable, but mandatory that every player goes to see the psychologist at least once a week um, just to check in and to know that there's no repercussions on their career, on whether they play, just because I think youngsters get so much so young these days, um, athletes, um, actors, all sorts, uh, big up destiny. Uh, Bobby says, unfortunately, it's less, accept uh, less acceptable for men to open up. Historically, we are the program to bottle it and get on with it sad reality my friend very true i think it's changing in time but it's going to take a long time for it to be properly level with how ladies are treated which is so wrong uh big up chris loney says hi kate and jim i think the last thing we need when we have mental health issues is to diagnose and treat ourselves i'm in australia and there's not enough help or it's too expensive terrible it should be brief everyone. yeah yeah, it should be, yeah. Especially with the suicide rates being at their highest since COVID. I mean, it's just craziness. Uh, it's nice to be nice, be kind, exactly, Mia. Good afternoon, Martin Knightsbridge. Hope you and the wall are well. He says, afternoon, lovebirds. Richie knows he needs help. He has to try and get the help. We all have our demons that we battle with. Not about how much money he has. This is human level. Just reach yeah. out. Exactly that. Um, if there's anything you can do... Uh, if there's anything you can do is be kind unless it's toward Bobby <laughs> uh, Neil says being a manager is also a very difficult job when you have 30 individuals who all need to be treated differently some will take criticism well while others may feel they're being picked on yeah 100 percent yeah managers as well I think should go to have to go to the psychologist as well 100 percent um I know it's mate it's horrible that uh, that it's like that in the world. I was constantly on my own, in my own thoughts by myself, always thinking the worst scenarios. Um, smash the likes. Am I going to apologise for criticising Chelsea? What for? Explain. Go on, Jimbo. I think that's the thing, Kate. That's like um, Daniel just said. You know, people are on their own. It's um, uh, it's terrible because things go over in their head you know and it mounts up and and the, the problems are made worse than what they should be yeah because they're overthinking it you know and that's why that's why it is good to go and get help to release yeah. it <coughs> bless you excuse bless you. me uh you know my current situation it's been months i've family members that say say stuff like how long you're going to milk this Hard without support makes things worse. Wow. It's like these people that say you need to man up and just get on with it. 
it, it, that's really not helpful at all. Uh, big up Yusuf says Chelsea deserve to be criticised, spending a king's ransom and still struggling to finish in the top 10. And of course, the scandal that came out yesterday that the medical staff have said that Lavia wasn't fit and Pochettino insisted he played and now he's out for the rest of the season. Um, there's just nothing but bad press around Chelsea at the minute. It's as, it's as easy as that. Um, another issue the NHS have is mental health is so underfunded for them to help a lot of us. I completely agree. Um, Lee. Hey, but, uh, but yeah, yeah. Look, I'm going to say that I saw, um, uh, I saw yesterday. I, uh, I watched an article on, on, um, uh, I think it was YouTube, of the Prime Minister saying they're giving two and a half billion to Ukraine to help them fund the war. Now that, that could go into our NHS. That could go towards mental health. You know, there's they, they got a backlog on the NHS. You know, why are we giving two and a half million to fund the war? When we got our own problems here, I'm sorry. Don't and get that, me started. That, that on, winds me up. Don't get me started on the NHS. This Two and a half billion they're giving. This end, this stream would end up being about six hours long. Um, I've been a psychologist. They only talk Spanish, and I still got something out of it. That's actually really funny. Um, I don't know if it's meant to be, but that is funny. But sometimes, you know what? I could quite happily speak to someone in Spanish and not know what they're saying, but just to have someone to speak to. You know. Um, hi Leo. Leo. Hi Leo. Um, last thing I wanted to say on this subject, um, are youngsters such as Delhi Ali and more recently someone like Mainu given too much too young with your money? Um, with the money in the same, I don't know what I was saying there. With the money in the game, and is this an ideal time to introduce a wage cap now? Obviously, these young kids, Mainu's only 18. He's, he's played 20-odd games, I think, for Man U. He, he's had two international caps, and he, he's bound to get a pay rise because he looks like he's, he's a real prospect. You give a youngster, so let's say, for argument's sake, 60 grand a week, right? Most people don't earn that in a year. It opens up a whole new world of drugs, drink, uh, women, uh, gambling, they could introduce. They could introduce um, uh, where they give them percentage of their wage, and the rest goes into a trust fund. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea for when yeah. they're like twenty five or something. Yeah, when they can have, they can have it when they're twenty five. Um, I mean, they could introduce something like that. I think there is too much money for these youngsters nowadays, um, and and I think people like Delhi Manu, I think too much pressure is put on them. Um, I saw uh, I saw the show, some of the show on the terrace yesterday about Manu. I've been watching it on TV, what they're expecting of him. And all of a sudden, this kid from nowhere has got this pressure on his shoulders, right? Um, not only for his club, but for his country. And yeah. I think it's too much. I really do. Yeah, I mean, I remember when Deli Ali started going off the boil, big up Robbie and everyone coming in. Um Sorry, let me just read this. Just talking, explaining can help. Just by explaining something to someone else, you have a deeper understanding of it. It works with all kinds of problems. Yeah, agreed. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Uh, Manu and the money. Oh, Delhi. Now, I said when when uh, it all come up, when Delhi started going off the boil, I remember saying he's got so much money. He's more interested in modelling. He's, you know, he's more interested in Instagram. He's more interested in this, that and the other. I look at... William, who's 17, nearly 18, and I, I he's a very sensible kid. Let's not be mistaken, Jim. You you know what he's like. He's yeah. so sensible. But if you suddenly started giving him £60,000 a week and he's living in London with loads of other young men, I'd, I wouldn't like to say what path he'd go down. I couldn't say hand on heart what path he'd go down. It's too much money too young. Yeah. They're too young. They're still children, you know, and I think – whether it be a wage cap or whether, like you say, they put give them a percentage and then put the rest aside, I, I'm not sure. But I mean, it's just I think it's that it's dangerous, really dangerous. Even actors, you look at Macaulay Culkin, you look at people like um, Drew Barrymore, all had battles with drink and drugs when they were children yeah. because of the fame and everything that came with it. I mean, you, you, I would imagine someone like. Ronaldo struggles to go to the toilet without someone taking a photo of him. Do you know? And it, it's a lot of pressure. I know people say, oh, they live a dream lifestyle, they're privileged, but the pressure must be unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm. So that was yeah. just an idea. Uh, big up Tom eighty one. Big up Queen Ellie. Um, hope you're well, my darling. Big up to you, Chang. Said the best, uh, biggest decision I've ever made in my life was to open up about my troubles, worries, shortcomings, and indecisions about my past, and the uncertainty about my future. Stay grounded and humble, everyone. Come on, you Spurs. Exactly, and be kind because no matter what, no matter how we appear on the outside, nobody actually knows what's going on in somebody's head, in somebody's life, how they're feeling. Um, look at Caroline Flack, the last post she put on Instagram. She looked so happy. And then she, she was she killed herself. It's just, yeah. I mean, I don't want to go on this, about this too long because it's a, it's not a very nice subject, but it's something. Actually, an important subject. About. Yeah, definitely. And I want everyone to know that we're this is a safe space. And if you message me or Jimbo on um, my community page, I will, or I've got an email address that's just a girl who loves Spurs at. Uh, gmail.com uh, we will always respond to you there's always someone you could talk to don't ever I'll always like give my number to anybody to talk to yeah we, we've had people call us from the community and we always will because we we know what it's like to feel like you're on your own even though you're not someone who's suffered with depression Jimbo you've been in the pits of a very 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 yeah. dark place I have yeah you have well, I think most people know that and um I was um I'm a very strong character and people said when I was at my worst on the drink and drugs, people used to say, if there was one person on the planet, I thought would never end up like that, it was Jim. But it happened to me, and I'm not going to make excuses. It was uh, um, uh, it was my own fault. I let myself get into that position, and I didn't get out of it when I knew I was going into a spiral. I knew it was happening, but I still carried on. But so I addiction. can't sit and blame anybody, but it's, I still did it. And I, wh whatever reasons I did it, I, I can't really say. I just went down that path. But I was lucky. I've got a strong character, and I had a good person being Kate behind me. And um, we managed between the pair of us to get us get us out of it. So, but, I, and I've I had, I've got, I've got some good. I got some good friends. Well, particularly Frankie, he, he's helped me a lot. You know, um, when I've been in in a dark place, so thank thank God for him as well. But I mean, it's I, I think if I was on my own, I wouldn't be alive now. And that's mm -hmm. me, and I'm a strong person. So but, I, I, that's why I'm saying that everybody needs somebody. I would say if I didn't have you and William, exactly the same. I wouldn't be in now. A million billion percent. Without any yeah. shadow, I can say that hand on heart, a million percent, I wouldn't be here. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, um, I'm mm -hmm. sure it will come to me. Um, Lisa it's, it's, a hard, it's, a, it's, a, it's a horrible subject, but it's a hard subject, but it's an important subject, mm -hmm. you know. And I think people like us that have seen the, the bad side, you've seen the bad side of um, depression, I've seen the bad side of drinking drugs. That we could we could definitely help people, and I will help anybody. This is why I'm never horrible in the room when people come in. I won't do it. I won't be horrible to any any, no matter who they support. And that's why I like it when we got a good crowd in and they're all nice to each other. Because some people who are in this room need that, need to come yeah. off the stream and feel good. Yeah, of course. I know what I was going to say. I was going to say. I think what people forget is. Um, sorry, I was just fiddling about with my things. Um, addiction is an illness, just like anything else. And that's why I think um, what happened with Ivan Tony, I don't really agree with the way that was handled. I think isolating him away from his teammates and everything that happened was a little bit cruel. Um, and, and really, he was humili humiliated in the public eye as well for what he did. And if it had been a drug addiction, I think it had been treated differently. But gambling... Again, I don't think it's treated with the sort of the, the level. You haven't got control over an addiction. I don't, care, I don't care what anyone says. You have not got control over it. It completely takes over everything. You said you knew you were going into a spiral. You should have stopped. But you can't stop. It's an addiction. It's your brain. You know, you can't I, control it. I used to tell myself, right, when I was, when I was on cocaine and I was drinking vodka um, after vodka after vodka, 
my brain told me, right, well, Jim, you're going to, I had a lot of money. I, I, I subsidized myself. I didn't have to steal or anything like that. But I told myself my money's going to run out, right? And I told myself you're going to end up in the gutter. And I told myself, or, or dead. I knew that. When I was, I've told you this many times, Kate. When mm -hmm. I was doing it, I, I knew I was going to end up skint, right, from a guy that was wealthy. I knew that I was going to end up either in the gutter or dead, right? But I still did it. And I knew that was coming. I knew it was only so far down the road. And I still did it. I couldn't stop myself from doing it. And yeah, I'm a strong it's character. An, it's an addiction, Jim. It's yeah. an illness. You know, people don't appreciate it. Um, I've gone through it first, and you've gone through it first, and it, it's just, it, it's it's awful. Um, ah, Dula. Ah, we're just, we're not really. We're just, not, just normal, normal people. Normal. We're, we're people that have been through a lot of it. And, and yeah. We, we can't talk about it because we know what we're talking about. Yeah, Cooper says, knowing that I wasn't alone during my worst spells of depression was what gave me strength. A lot of people face the same things. Literally, if I hadn't opened up, I wouldn't be here now. Yeah. Um, Armin says, we players with resilience, determination, ability to handle pressure, recruitment should consider mental, emotional, and physical strength. Richie isn't the answer. I'm not sure what that means. Um. Uh, you're a top bloke, Jim, always on the end of the phone, says Robbie. Um, always, always. Not all grow up doing that stuff, but there were a good number that were exposed. My cousin Alexandra Gold never did that stuff. He was the voice of Nemo and played Shane Botwin in Weeds. Oh, wicked. That's cool. Uh, um, I always say my boys saved me and on my purpose, otherwise I'd be in a very different place. Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, I, 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 I can guarantee that... Um, uh, I might hope I'm not speaking out of turn, but I can guarantee that Mia's life is not easy. Yeah, she's a single mum with two boys. That's hard. Yeah, and Bob and Kuva's spot on. Kids are little lifesavers, and they don't even know it, but they are a million percent. Uh, Potato Stew says we'll always be grateful for the time you guys spend with us people on our own over Christmas. Much love. Oh, anytime. We enjoyed it. It was just like spending it with my extended family. Uh, I went through it back in my 30s. It's got to a point where I told my family and friends I no longer wanted to live, but I had great people around me. One of them is now my wife. Never be afraid to speak. Yeah, Wise words, yeah. Tom. Uh, people are like icebergs. We only see what's on the surface. Exactly. What a good analogy. Uh, big up, Leo. Almost three years clean in April. Jim, yeah. almost 18 years clean. Amazing. Um, I went to a lot of home and away games during the pop era when I was 21 and seen and took a lot of the white stuff. It's riddled in football and it's so cheap nowadays. It's dangerous. Yep. A million percent. Um, See, this is this is the thing. This is the thing. Uh, who said that? Destiny 5. Yeah. Destiny 5. The thing is, as well, when I was trying to get clean, when I lived down south and I was trying to get clean, um, uh, Kate told the guys, that I, the dealers that I got, my stuff from please don't serve him right he's trying to get clean he's trying to straighten his life out but they don't they, they all promised me they were like we're his mates we'd never do that yeah. good luck to him and as soon as my back was turned straight round to you wouldn't they yeah 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 because all they it's all about with them it's all about that is they don't care about you no of course not uh, Bobby K with a super chat says, you guys are the kindest people I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. You consistently checking in on me and supporting me has meant the world. Always, Bobby. Always, Bobby. Always. always. Um, actually shedding a few tears as I'm typing this. Never be afraid. It is emotional, Tom. And do you know what? The, the emotion shows how far you've come as well, that you're able to just type it into a chat. It shows how far you've come. Uh, alcoholism is a disease it rewires the brain but doctors and society have yet to see it as a disease and give, consider it a weakness or choice agreed same with all addictions i agree yeah. wholeheartedly uh, i've always been dealing with depression in my life ever since i was a kid took me a long time without help and finally in my 40s i tried therapy but on the on the nhs it didn't help me i'm still in a dark place to be fair i've had therapy on the nhs and it hasn't done anything excuse me for me, but I have reached out and spoke to counsellors on Zoom and things like that, which I've actually found quite helpful. But, um, yeah, I just think making sure you've got people to talk to, whoever they are, um, is well, important. Sam, you know where we are. I always talk to you, mate, and Kate will as well, 100%. Mm. Yeah. Uh, never feel ashamed or embarrassed. Agreed. Um, Martin says addiction's addiction just has different subjects and it is an illness and a lot of people think it's a lifestyle choice but it's not and if you live 
it, you will understand it. That's so true. Until you live something, I don't yeah. think you do understand it. Uh, Robbie says, my dad's a former gambling addict and my mum has just started AA meetings and is two weeks sober. Wow, seen my fair share of addiction in my short life, but also seen how people get through it. Wow, Robbie. I don't even know what to say to that, hey. except you know, you know where we are. See, I'm, I'm quite good friends with Robbie, right? And I would never have guessed that in a million years. No. Not in a million it. years. By that's talking to Robbie... Me. By talking to Robbie and having him on our streams, talking to him after the streams, I would never have guessed that. This is what I'm saying to you about people being nice to people because you don't know behind the scenes. And Robbie's an example there. You know, he's going through a lot because it's his parents. But if people are horrible to him, it can push him over the edge. Bloody hell, Robbie, always reach out if you need anything. Um, we're old enough to be your, your second mum and dad. <laughs> We'd be your Spurs parents. <laughs> old enough to be his granddad, I think. Uh, Lee says, you two are my faves, as you know, I'm always talking to you and I love you both. We love you, Lee, and your voice yeah. notes make me actually die in laughter. Um, it's a vicious circle, uh, showing the love to each other. See, I it, love it this. Is, it is a vicious circle, but it is a circle that can get broken. Yeah. Uh, my hubby, I've told you, serious gambling addiction, we lost two houses, but all the help I gave him helped it, but he had to help himself to conquer it as it's an illness 100%. Yeah, LA, big up to you. Um, it is, it is. Um, your streams give many the daily laughs they need. Two of the nicest people on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> Robbie, big up. Such a nice thing to say. Uh, Neil says, I'm married to an alcoholic and I had to realise my wife couldn't help it despite interventions and talking. Sadly, the abuser needs to want help in order to hopefully get it. Wife has cirrhosis. Oh, God. My my dad was an alcoholic, so I grew up with an alcoholic till he left when he was I was 11. So I get it. Um, yeah, I get it. Um, Robbie, you're a lovely person, I know, and no one knows what people are suffering exactly. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, wow, well, it took it really took me by surprise that uh, about Robbie, and, and it's nice to see people sharing uh, uh, the, what their struggles are. Um, COVID was a godsend for me. I regained a circle of really good friends to replace the ones I pushed away in my life through addiction, self pity, and self destruction. You all matter to me. Ah, Coover, we love you. Coover Bear. Coover Bear. Uh, Martin Knightsbridge with the super chat. Thank you. Says you two have provided the space and look at this chat. I know. Do you know what? I'm actually, I'm actually really um, touched at what people are saying in the chat and sharing what they've been through. I didn't expect that, but um, I'm, I'm grateful that people feel that this is a safe enough space where they can do that. Um, and I hope that people do feel that because it is anyone, no one will ever be judged in here. God, it's made me emotional. I'm such a wuss. Um, it's just a nice place to come and, and know that everyone cares about each other. Um yeah, big up to everyone sharing their stories and to Nick for saying that, uh, for being a member for two, two months, months and love to everyone. So, yeah, oh, my God, I'm such a wreck. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm useless, am I? <laughs> You're not useless. <laughs> no, no, nothing wrong with my emotions. I'm just an emotional wreck. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Um uh Mia says, Robbie, anytime you need to chat, there's plenty of people who will happily speak to you. My dad's an addict. Yep. Um, James the Tottenham fan, big up to you. So I haven't known you guys long, but I can say you're very genuine, nice people, and you made me feel welcome. I appreciate it. Everybody's welcome here. Um, James, let me tell you something. If we welcome in Chelsea and Arsenal supporters, then anyone's welcome. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um Shemtan says, no one to talk to because never wanted to bring my friends down, but they didn't understand and now never see or hear from them again. I think that's what made me be alone even more now. Hard to trust. Shem, always leave me a message on my community and I will get in touch with you. I promise you that. Um, Shem, let me tell you something, right? You can contact us anytime, but if they were your friends, right, they would still be talking to you and helping you. So they wasn't yeah. very good friends. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Uh, Spurs GCTV says, Kate and Jimbo, the only thing that is obviously greater than your love of Spurs and each other is the size of your hearts. <laughs> um, Cooper said, at least you're leaking from the right end this time. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I cry so much. It's just, it's unbelievable, really. 
Uh, Leo says, amazing community and blessed to be a part of it. Leo, we're blessed to have you as part of it. Cannot wait to come down Thank and meet you. you in a few weeks' time. Uh, news channel suggestion, the crying councillor Kate. Oh, my God. I'd be the worst councillor ever. I just would. I'd be awful. Um, uh, yeah, call anytime. Uh, you cheers, everyone. Yeah, Robbie's got my number. He knows he can contact me. Oh, Jim, what's happened to your camera? Oh, that's it. You went all... Oh, you look like an alien. That's because I am. <laughs> uh, cheers, everyone, for the kind words. Best fan community on the platform. Genuine and friendly people. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it's everything's men. Uh, Bob says you ain't bad for Spuds fans. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that, Bob. Uh, before I call it a Thursday and bed down for the long night, I'd like to take this opportunity to profusely thank Mr. and Mrs. Boxall for allowing me a slot on their tight schedules to call home. Chang, you are a huge part of this channel. Can't wait till Monday's show uh, when you're back on. We absolutely love having you on. Um, so, yeah, no need to ever thank us, seriously. We absolutely love having you on. Yes. Um, and hope you sleep well. And let me do your little... Uh... That's it, isn't it? So, yeah. Do much trouble because of his dodgy arm. Mum has lost three of her ex-boyfriends to alcohol. It's literally put me off drinking for the rest of my life. I'll be real here. I've seen it real bad when it comes to our colleagues. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Um, oh, Tom, there was absolutely no need for such a kind donation just to say Thanks, much Tom. love to all. Thank you very much indeed. Very much appreciated. Um, Armin says, Spurs are really craving for a trophy. We've been styles of it for 24 years. What about our depression? Players come and go, but the real fans remain. Yeah, I don't think that's really, really appropriate at the moment. Um, uh, that's what these kind of convos do, Kate. I have been in tears through most of it as it has made me think what my gambling done to my life, but I'm thankful I've found this community. Love you all. See, another one. Never knew. Um, but you know what? You know what my um, one of my mottos in life is? Two mottos. One that my sister taught me, which is those that mind don't matter and those that matter don't mind. And the second one is every second is a chance to turn it all around. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm just a bloody wreck today. Um, yeah, big loves. Yes, Jim is an alien. Um, yeah, I think I am. I think you are. Um, anything Anything else you want to talk about, Jimbo? Because I, I no, think I need to, no, I just, I I need um, to change, change the subject because it's too emotional. I just uh, I hope that this... this... This last hour is an hour we've been talking about as to help people and that they know there is people in the community that you can talk to, you know. Yeah. And our, our community page is there, and I'm willing to talk to anybody from any What club. I will do is on and my you community. You don't have to be Tottenham. You can be Arsenal. You can be Chelsea. On know? my community page, I will put my email address on there as well, the, like the channel email address. So if anyone does want to reach out, they can email. Um <laughs> Sadly, friends and life changes and everyone grows up and they have their own lives and the values they had once upon a time seem stupid now because the rent must be paid and some bonds severed. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that. Um, big up, Mark. You're a top guy. Yes, Mark is a top, top guy. Uh, Jim is a man. He's holding it down for his Kate. <laughs> oh, Jim is a man's man. Let me tell you something now, right? This Jimbo you see, he is a man's man, Jimbo. But he is the most emotional man I've ever met in my entire life. He mm. is so emotional. I don't want to say too much, but someone called us, a, a girl called us that we know, and she was crying. And it made Jim cry, literally. He's so emotional. Um, yeah, the thing is with me, if 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 I if I really like someone and I know they're having a hard time, it upsets me. And um yeah, it upset me. It did upset me. When I fell over in the in the hallway and I I smashed my arm up and you cried like a baby, but he's so. This is why I love about him. He's so um, fiercely protective of his his me especially and William, but of of his friends and family. So yeah, he's a big yeah. teddy bear under that. He was he was a bodyguard, but he's a big teddy bear under that exterior. Uh, exterior. Don't worry about that if Tottenham beat Arsenal at the North London derby there may be tears from both of us <laughs> Who knows? we both cried when we beat Ajax we both cried when we got beaten in the Champions League final who knows 
Um, Kuba says, Mark, big up, mate. I think the vast majority of us in the YouTube crowd have something missing in their life. Yeah. Yeah. I hear yeah. that. Um, good night to you from wet, windy, and humid Southeast Asia, Spurs GC2. I absolutely love to see chat with you face to face here on the next members call in show. Now you've got a membership. Yes. Uh, big up, Chang. Sleep well. Um, that now rich video about mental health was unbelievably accurate. Never know what different people are going through. Yep. So true. Big up, Rob Belcher. Good to see you. Um, I didn't see Rob come in. Oh, yeah, there he is. Uh, big up, Rob. Good to see you, um, as always. Um, Jimbo's got a heart of gold. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's got a heart of gold. He looks like a tough ex-gangster. He's a big old softy teddy bear. Uh, good night, Shane. Mm. Yeah, then he laughed. He cried when I fell over, and then he laughed. No, he didn't. He was mortified. I didn't laugh. I was absolutely devastated because she really hurt herself. But the funniest I, thing was, I, I think I, I, I think when I, it's more frustration that I can't do anything. Yeah, I think the funny, funniest thing about it was I could have actually stopped my fall, but I had a box of Ferrero Rocher and I didn't want to break the box, and I kept them up and just <laughs> so fell flat on my face. That, that was funny. <laughs> and saved the chocolates. That's my priority in life. Save the chocolates. Uh, Mark, from day one, you've always been here showing the utmost respect, mate. You can tell straight away you're a real, real one. Yeah, Mark, absolute, yes, absolute. 100%. Um, That's why he's my favourite Chelsea fan. Yeah. Uh, it's a great trait to have, Jimbo. Uh, you, Luke, definitely, mate. That's why I try and not be a dick. <laughs> you're definitely not a dick. Uh, I've been tempted to go on a stream, but I have a face for radio. and My West Country accent would make it impossible for anyone to understand. Do you go, oh, wait, my lovely get off my bloody land, I tell you. <laughs> Is that how you talk? <sighs> Please tell me. Uh, drugs put me in jail out here, but that white devil is so powerful and gets hold of you regardless of what people think. Another yes. one, Martin. I bet, I, I, I've watched Martin on our member show, and I listen to him, and I think to myself, you and Jimbo would get on like a house on fire. And I bet you've got a very, very similar, you've had some very similar experiences. Just a feeling. Um, but Martin, hopefully you'll be down for the NLD and we'll get to actually meet you face to face. It'd be so nice to meet you. Uh, big up Coover with the donation. Says, big up Jimbo. Nothing wrong with getting softer and more caring as we get older, mate. I was a real prick when I was younger. So was Jimbo. Not, not a real... There no. was always a good side, but you, when you was going through your bad stage, you was a bit of a knob. <laughs> you got to admit that. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Now you were half a prick when you were younger, <laughs> wankers. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, goose. Uh, does the PFA have a mental health provision where there is a place players can go without judgment to deal with substance or mental issues? That I don't know. If there isn't, there should be a million percent. Um. Need to be a dick, mate. Everyone's got something going on in life. We all know what a laugh and a joke is in here. Exactly. Exactly. It's all about the banter. Yep. Always save the chocolates. And look at Chang. Before he goes to bed, he's gifted five memberships. So generous, you guys. Honestly, this wasn't why I'd done this stream at all. I just wanted to get it out there that, um, yeah, I think it's nice to, to sort of have this chat every now and again anyway. We did it with Delhi Alley, which proved really popular. Just let people know that there's always someone to talk to. But Ellie, Leo... Bob the Gooner, Bob the Gooner, Bill and Gary Ross all got a membership. So, big oh my god, Bob the Gooner's a member. I love it. I love Bob, it. Bob the Gooner, he's a member. <laughs> um, big up, Chang. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thanks, thank you. thanks, Chang. Um, <laughs> Uh, so Jimbo pushed Kate over first and she broke her arm. So that's why Kate pushed Jim downstairs. Now I get it. Yes, see, it's <laughs> retaliation. It was retaliation. <coughs> uh, big up Chang, big up Chang, big up Chang. Yes. Um, uh, big up to the youngest old man, Chang. Big up Chang. Loving the love. Loving the love that Chang's getting. Absolute legend. Uh, men are all knobs till we grow up at 40. Bloody hell, Jim was past 40 when he was, was you? Hang on. How long no. have you been up here? Was I? Years? Yeah. Yeah, you were 40, 40, 41. <laughs> Maybe you were a late bloomer. <laughs> I, I, I've, been, I, I've been clean 18 years, and I? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I was still a knob. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it, though. Um, 
uh, NHL is something called the Players Assistance Program where they can take a leave to get help without any penalties. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Um, I agree, Kate. I think Jim and I could talk for hours. He, he's a real one to me. Yeah, a million yeah. percent, I think so. Jeez, I'd well, love to have a big party and have everyone over and, and, and meet up and everyone talk to one another and learn about each other. It'd be amazing. Um, another Spurs community legend. Yes, Chang is that. You're all legends in your own way, 100%. Yeah. Anyone who comes in this room and talks is a legend for me because it, it makes the room what it is, all of you. So uh, the great thing about tonight's show is that we can see many, many of us have our struggles. We're not unique. Yeah, and that's why you should never be afraid to speak up because everybody's going through something. Whether You, you might not see it, but the, they- it, it's there. Um, big up, Paddy. He says, everyone should help each other if you can. It costs nothing to be nice to people. And come on, social media should learn and not be pricks. Agreed. Exactly. And I, agree, I agreed with what someone else said. The press need to take responsibility as well and back off with all these rumours and all the harm that they do. Um, yeah, uh, and thank you. I mean, look, Paddy don't know us from Adam, right? Yeah. He got us tickets for the North London derby. Yes, legend. And he doesn't know us from Adam. Legend. You know, he only knows us from this. So yeah. Um, oh God, why am I such an emotional wreck? It's awful. Um, my channel is a reflection of my therapy. Peace and love to you all. Make sure everyone goes over and subs to the channel. Um, Bob will be a Spurs fan by next year. <laughs> Just you wait. Oh no, Bob. I mean, you're welcome on my member show anytime. You've got to have your camera on. I'm not having any crazy people on, apart from Jim. Um, but yeah, big up to you. Um, another super chat from Martin says, Kate, you provided a safe space and it's humbling. Thank you very much. I hope it, everybody feels that this is a safe space. I do. Um, very proud of the and such an important thing to talk about and helping normalise the ups and downs, feelings we all go through at one point or another. Exactly, Jess. That's exactly what we've been saying. And it's come out through this channel that so many of us have got our own struggles in life. And yeah, it needs... It it, make, it reminds us, it sounds stupid, but it kind of reminds us that footballers are actually human. They're not robots. You know, they might be assets. They might be worth loads of money and earn ridiculous sums of money, but they are human beings with feelings like the rest of us. So uh, I've got to put a bit of lippy on because I just see where I've been blowing my nose. My lipstick could half come off and it looked horrible. So sorry about that. Uh, I'm never growing up. What keeps me going is acting like a child. Yeah. Be Peter Pan. Uh, Jimbo, heart of gold and soul of a cockerel. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jimbo's a king amongst men. <laughs> uh, REM, everybody hurts. Yes. What a song. Uh, that was me, Kate, about the press. Yeah, Neil Sharp, you're absolutely right with the press. I mean, even when you looked at the whole Beckham thing, the way the press dealt with that and the, the hatred... You've let your country down was the front page of all the papers. You know, they encouraged the hate towards David Beckham. Yeah. The and way that they the, sorry, the way that they've treated Kate Middleton of late, suggesting someone's having an affair, William or her, and you know, it's come out that she's not well. I don't know how the press can do these things and be so vicious and vile they, with no repercussions. Well, they 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 fuel it, didn't they? I mean, if he the Beckham one was was really bad because he shouldn't have even been sent off, so it wasn't even his fault because it weren't sending mm. off, you know. Yeah. And, and Saka missing the penalty. I mean, he got a lot of love when he came to Tottenham. Yeah, he love. did. He got um, standing ovation, didn't he? And there was banners yeah, out. That yeah. tells you a lot about the Tottenham community. But um, the hate he got for missing a penalty, I mean, I, I can't get my head around it because it is a sport and people mess up in every sport. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Uh, big up to you, James. Um Girls and our chocolate don't come between us. Exactly, LA. <laughs> well, no matter what the question is, chocolate is always the answer. Um, happy Thursday, Kate. Hope you're doing well. Big up, Ra, man. I am good. Thank you. Hope you're well. Uh, good to see you on the terrace yesterday. Uh, Gaz is a prime example. Yep. So sad. So, so sad. Uh, mm. The press are demons of the world. I agree, Drew. Like the absolute tabloids and scum of the earth, as far as I'm concerned. Absolute scum. Uh, uh, Paddy, what you've done for these wonderful hosts and others is fantastic. Big up, yes, agreed. Yes. What you've done for getting us those tickets, I'll never forget that for as long as I live because it was one of the things yeah. on my bucket list. I've never been to a North London derby, you know, so I'm so friggin' excited, it's unbelievable. Um, 
Yeah, freedom of the press is needed, but should not be used as a bully pulpit. I couldn't agree more. Um, you know, you've only got to look back as well, Princess Diana, that whole situation. You could go on and on and on and on about the yeah. press and what they, they're guilty of. It's it's just, yeah, outrageous, really. Um, so, yeah, completely different sort of show for us today. Um, although we have managed to still have a laugh. Little bits of pieces have made me giggle. I think um, it was, it's an important show to have now and again. Yeah, and I would urge anyone that um, hasn't watched it, if they're in the right frame of mind, I wouldn't urge people to watch it if they're not in the right frame of mind, but to, to just to listen to Richarlison because it is actually, it's quite shocking to hear just and to see how, just how upset he was. Devastated. It's not upset, that's such an understatement, but just heartbroken. It's devastated. Yeah, heartbroken and devastated he was. And you know what? There's probably so many footballers in exactly the same space that just won't come out. It's like this whole, I'm not going to go off on a tangent about this because I'm not, but it's like this whole um, uh, footballers coming out as gay. There must be a lot of footballers in the in the world who are gay, who won't come out and say it because of the fear of repercussions. And that is so sad. In 2024, that is so terribly sad. Um, uh, agreed. Big up Paddy for his big heart and remote parenting skills for big K and little K. Uh, Martin Pretty says, everyone naturally assumes people live great lives and 95% of today's <laughs> chat in your great community has proven this is not the case. Exactly. And they automatically think that if you've got a smile on your face, everything in your life is rosy and that really isn't the case. Um, yeah. Thanks, Rob. I didn't do it for acknowledgement. All I ask from people is to pay it forward and be good to others. Do you know what? I'm not name dropping Bobby Kay, but when I speak to Mickey Hazard, um, that's all he ever says to me. Like he he's, he gave us two tickets to this thing on the 12th of April um, to go and meet him and Glenn Hoddle and no him Chris Waddle and Clive Allen. And I said to him, "How much do I owe you?" And he was like, "No, Kate, I want you to be my guest." And I said, "No, it's too much, Mickey." And he was like, "Kate, all I ask is that you be kind. I've learned in life." doesn't matter uh, what you've got. What's more important to me is making people happy. And that's so true. It is so true. Just be nice to people. And it goes gestures, around, comes around. Yeah, pay it forward. And little gestures mean so much to people. <sighs> um, I watched it. I was in tears. Uh, this could be the making of Richie and pushing for the Nick, for the last 10. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Let's hope so. Um, thank you guys, such a bunch of lovely and great people All give yourselves a big up Big up to you Tom, thank you so much for your super chat It was massively appreciated uh, Afternoon Maddie Oh, here we go again Bobby K I wasn't name dropping um, Scott Nielsen says With all due respect, if a child doesn't deserve criticism Rightly so, then not any other player deserves criticism They're too suffering, but just not saying it openly No, I don't agree with that Scott at all um, I, d I don't agree with that sentiment. <laughs> if they're struggling, they come out and say it. Then yeah, I, 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 I think it's da that's a dangerous way to think. But Jim, go on. You say what you think. I think I think that um, uh, Scott. I think that you can criticise players, right? And you can you can um, have a moan, but it's the way you do it is is the important thing. I mean. It's there's ways there's ways of putting things across and and without being nasty or vicious you can criticise players. There's no one saying don't criticise a player because I, I I mean I'm not a very judgmental person. I don't judge people, but sometimes the game is finished and I think oh he played crap and he played crap. But I don't do it viciously, you know. Criticise them but do it in a respectful way. That's why you never see me. The only player I think anyone's ever really seen me come down heavy on. Is undem belly, <laughs> and, and that is that is that is mainly, I think, with me is frustration. I'm so frustrated with the guy. But well, um, what I will say as well, Scott, Charleston hasn't come out and said I'm depressed because I've been criticised. He's depressed because he, it, 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 you, there's not always a reason. I say to Jim sometimes, I'm so down today. I feel so depressed. He goes, Why? I go, No idea. And uh, his isn't because he gets criticised, because like Jim says, you can openly criticise a player, you can criticise a manager, but it's the, it's when you go on Facebook, or not Facebook so much, but X, um, and start actually viciously attacking them, that that's where it's, it's all wrong. But that, that's not what he's come out and said. He's come out and said, 
he, he's depressed because the, he, he wanted to give up football. He felt responsible that Brazil got knocked out of the World Cup. It's a pressure thing, you know. So that's that's all I'd say. Um, yeah, you can be disappointed in players, and you can say, "I don't think he's good enough to be in my club." And um, oh, oh, sorry. You, you, you can give some criticism, but don't be vicious and nasty. I don't even. Do you know what? I I, I get pop ups from from X. When certain people make tweets that I like, Paddy's one of them. I, I see most of Paddy's tweets. Um, uh, but there's people on there. I never want to look at their tweets because they're just vicious, nasty people. And, yeah. and whatever they say is not going to be, it's not going to be uh, um, uh, a proper criticism. It's just nasty, you know. But um, there's no need for it, I don't think. And I think, what, what, what are you gaining? You're sitting behind a keyboard and you're writing terrible things about people i mean what 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 are you gaining out of it is there is there some i don't understand it i can't get my head around why people do it for me they're just coward keyboard cowards that's all they are yeah yeah some people have thicker skin than others scott um this did make me laugh kuva i'm not name dropping but and then proceed to name every player that's ever been at spurs Shut up, Coover. <laughs> um, there is a line that people often cross. Yeah, yes. agree with me out. Uh, walk a mile in their shoes before you start to rip on people. Yeah. Uh, criticising players. Uh, Criticise players if they're poor but unfair to insult them personally. For one, it's not relevant. And two, it's out of order. Yes. Exactly. exactly. Uh, wise wise words from a young, young man. Yeah. There's a thin line between peaceful sanity and madness. Yeah. Smash the lights, people. Excuse me. Uh, if you do a job and you get something wrong, you don't expect your boss to stand there telling your, you you're a useless this and that and a worthless, do you? Exactly. Um, yeah, I can understand people coming off Twitter. It's a very toxic place. Um, yeah. Sometimes I have to take a big step away from Twitter. Don't very often go on there. but uh, They are just keyboard warriors, cowards. Yeah, Jimbo, as you can't prove prove on voice notes, can we get a prove prove on here? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I can't do pigeon noises. <laughs> uh, on a slightly lighter note, give me the money these footballers get and write whatever you want about me. I don't care. Um, I know we're making a joke of that, but I, I think sometimes you think you wouldn't care, but you, you just don't know. Uh, Ellie says, you UK are a queen amongst queens as you are my bestie. Ah, I love you, Ellie. Cannot wait to see you in a few weeks. Um, definitely my bestie, bestie, YouTube bestie. Um, yeah, Jim's Pru Pru is awful. Considering how much, yeah, it is. It's like Chandler doing the whip sound. Absolutely, absolutely useless. <laughs> Jim, was that a pigeon, a chicken, or a chicken on crack? I don't know. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jimbo doing the Pru Pru sounds like Rodney into Hohenbach using an owl impression to get Del Boy's attention. Oh my god, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Woo, twid twoo, or something he says. I can't remember what he does, but I remember that. Uh, that was terrible, Jimbo, but I still love you. <laughs> to be Lee fair, Lee's brilliant. Lee Lee does does it the best brilliant. And I would like to point out that Lee's got a resident pigeon that visits him that he has called. Auntie Kate, which actually makes me so proud and honoured that there is a pigeon named after me um, that Lee speaks to every day. I get photos of Auntie Kate all the time uh, sent to me. She was actually there today with her friends having a tea party um, outside Ben's, uh, Ben's, Lee's house. So, And yes. Kate's nickname at school was Pigeon. It was. And tell it's them why, Kate. Because they used to say that I walked around like just in circles without really getting anywhere because I was so scatty, which is kind of true because I still do that now. If I go to the shops, I sometimes just walk around and then think, where am I going? And then just walk off. So, yeah, that was my nickname. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, that is funny. Uh, come on, you gunners. Come on, you gunners. Repeat it, people. Big up on 14. Um, that's the only time you'll ever get me to say that. Um, let me tell you that now. Um <laughs> Obviously, tomorrow we've got Mia and Ellie on Jimbo, cause, so we we won't do anything about the up-and-coming Luton game because we will cover that tomorrow um, with our score predictions and what have you. Um, I'm just glad Tottenham's back. 
Yeah. Yeah, missed it. Missed it. I watched. I did watch England in the England games, but I wasn't overly impressed. Um, nice to see uh, our man get an assist for the last fifteen minutes. He got. He was lucky, though, Madders. He could have got sent off. He was only young fifteen minutes. Yeah. Um, of course, Lee likes pigeons. They're birds with big breasts. <laughs> Oh my god, are they milfs though? Are they milfs? I actually got called a milf yesterday on um Terrace and it made my life. Not gonna lie. You're never a milf. Been never been called a milf before. I was quite happy with that. Um but yeah, I think we'll end it there, Jim Bone. Unless there's anything you want to say. No, I don't know if there's anyone in the chat wants to talk about anything while we're on here. If there is, just say so. If not, we'll it's go. It's only on. ever gonna be a quickish stream. Um to address obviously that interview, as they say. Um, yeah. But yeah. Nice to have Tottenham back. It um, is nice to have Tottenham back. Is it Sunday we're playing or is it Saturday? I can't remember. Saturday, I think. Yeah, Saturday, I'm sure. Is it three o'clock? I think so. Let me look. Hold on. Unless someone tells us. Um, Spurs, Luton. Yeah, Saturday, three o'clock. Okay. Oh. Says win probability Spurs seventy nine percent draw twelve percent Luton nine percent. Um, four nil. Oh, we're doing it tomorrow. Sorry. Yeah, you just take that back. <laughs> uh, milf mothers, I like to fight. Yeah. Can I big up our ladies? Of course you can, Mark. Big up to the Chelsea ladies. You can big up uh, whoever you want. Massive game on Sunday as well. Manchester City Arsenal, which we will preview tomorrow. Uh, and for anyone going to the game, hope I see some of you there. Yes, Lee, providing you're not all in bed with man flow. Uh, nice one, guys. Really good of you to do this. Let everyone know they're not alone. Ah, oh, always. Big up, Bobby. Always, oh, always. thank you, Tom. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. You're a quilf like me. Queen. <laughs> I like it. Um, <laughs> big up Chelsea ladies for making the Champions League semis again. Bring on Barcelona. Um, absolute brilliant show. Oh, thanks everyone. That's so kind. Bobby K, massive thank you to you for the super chat. Um, so kind. Martin for his super chat as well. So kind. Thank you both. If, massive uh big up to Nick for his two month uh members chat and to Tom for his very generous donation you, as well. Coover for his generous donation as well, and super chat and Chang for gifting five memberships. So kind, and for Martin for another super chat. You're all absolute legends. Uh, Drula says, Great stream, guys. Thank you, everyone, day, today for your time and sharing. Lovely conversation, proof proof for Richie. Great show, guys. Thank you. Uh, this would have helped people today. So, big up yourselves. Great mm. show, as always, guys. Oh, look at Kuva coming in with five memberships. Seriously, you guys are just so kind and, and don't because you start me off again. Um, so generous. Let me have a look and see who, who got the uh. And Who Tom's having another super chat. Uh, Drula, not Drula, la la, Drula, the diddler, Bob Down Under, Fiona, and Phil P. Woo! All got a membership. So thank you so much, Coover Bears. So kind of you, thank really, you. honestly. Coover. Not expected in any way. And big up to you, Tom, for another super chat. Guys, you've been amazing today. Not, not, I'm not talking about monetary, although obviously it's massively appreciated. Times are tough and all that malarkey. Um, it's brilliant to to help pay for the uh, things that I want to do for the channel. But just opening up and everyone sharing their stories. Um, it, do you know what? It's It's been really humbling and big up uh, Jess. Uh, it's been really humbling and, and it's taken me back, um, taken me aback that you, you, oh my God, I can't speak to, that you you feel comfortable enough to share that with us and how you're feeling and the troubles that you've gone through and the battles that you're facing and all things like that. Honestly, it's, it's, it's so, I just, I just hope that I hope that it's helped people this, 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 this stream. And I hope that people, that if they do need someone to talk to, they will reach out. I mean, I, I, I spoke to someone from our community yesterday who, 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 um, who's got my number called me and he we just had a chat but i knew that he needed a chat so i was on the well you know i was on the phone to him for over an hour um and he didn't say that he needed a chat 
he just said he wanted to see how things were, but I knew that he needed a chat. Um, yeah. So it was nice. And I'll do the same for anybody. And Kate will always, uh, always. If you, uh, if you're, if male, female, I don't care. And if you want to rather speak to Kate, even male, you can speak to Kate. I'm not a jealous person. So you know, the thing is, though, if you ring me up with your problems, your chances are I'll probably be in tears on the end of the phone. So as long as you're all right with that, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, big up Lee Smithy Smith for the pigeon super chat. Big loves, my man. Uh, afternoon, Hotspur Hood. Yep, yeah, Dan, I will. I'll show you how to do it. Um, I, I had to be taught. I'll, I'll happily show you. It's very, very easy um, once you know how to do it. Um, your streams are more than a chat about Tottenham. It's like therapy at times in a way. Yeah. I hope so. Um, I hope people, like I say, whatever we're talking about, if somebody's got something they want to talk about, we'll always change the the subject to the show and yeah just to have somewhere i don't ever want people to come in here and, and feel like uncomfortable or that it, i don't want it to be a place where it's nasty it, it, it will never get like that because no. we will not let it get like that no as much i like debating people but there's always um a respectful way to do it like dave yesterday like i said me and dave irish hotspur disagree on loads but he will listen to me and say yeah i see what you're saying and i'll listen to him and go yeah i see what you're saying because that's the respectful and adult way to do it, in my opinion. Um, I've just got a breaking news that Sandro Tonali faces further sanctions as banned Newcastle star hit with more betting charges. Um, who? who? Tonali, the one we wanted, went to Newcastle. He's been charged with a further 50, bre uh, 50 alleged breaches of FA betting rules. So he's been banned So uh, already. I don't know what they're going to do, but... Yeah, it doesn't sound good for him. We we really did um, dodge a bullet with that one. Um, listen, as I said, it's extremely humbling that you all... Um, oh, hello, look, Chang Centre members for three months. Uh, to YouTube content creators and channel owners here, Miss Mia, Mr Bobby Kang, Mr Coover, Mr Kaufman, Mr Dave Harris, Daniel A, you are all magnificent. Haha, <laughs> big up to you, Chang. Uh. You're an absolute legend. Um, all you need to do is be willing to get someone's point, not agree. Exactly. You listen to them, they listen to you, and you either say, I agree to disagree or try and meet somewhere in the middle. I, I, I'm, a load of people disagree with what I think. A load of people disagree with what Jim thinks. But I'm happy to listen to an argument. And, yeah, if, if I can't get to a solution, you'll never shout and hoot and holler. Um, we just agree to disagree. Um, what with what happened to my mate as you guys know his sister's here with me and she has said you two are amazing and the world needs more people like you guys oh, oh. big love to um, to her and yeah sorry to hear about what happened to her brother um, yeah. but yeah she's lucky Smithy because she's got you um, and everyone needs a Smithy in their lives as far as I'm concerned so yeah I don't consider us to be good people particularly well I don't we're just normal people and I just think there's too many. I think we're good people, babe. I don't. I, I would say we're good people. Yeah, and, and no, I mean, we're, not, we're not bad people, that's for sure. No, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think we're like we should be put on a pedestal as being other things, no, other no, than normal good pedestal, people. Because we, this, everyone should be kind, and yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. We're no different to how I think. You should always treat people how you want to be treated. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say in a really bad way. Yeah, um, but um, I, I, I agree. I think it's uh, for me. It's for me to be a good person. It's to be, it's what me is, but it's to be a normal that's exactly, person. Exactly. That's exactly what I was trying yeah. to say in a really terrible way. That <laughs> was just really poorly put. Um, but yeah, um, as I say, thank you so much to everyone that's come in, that's like the super chats, the, the uh, gifting of memberships, but just coming in, speaking to us, sharing your stories has meant absolutely the world to yeah. us. Um, no, I don't like bigging myself up ever, Martin Knightsbridge. Um, uh, not at all. Not ever. Do I'll big her up. Know? I'll big her up. She's a good person. And if you've got Kate in your life, you're very lucky. That's what I think. I'm, I, I'm the luckiest man in the world to have Kate. <laughs> without any shadow of a doubt. Um, yeah, I'll big you up. Thanks. And my Bye, mate Frankie, yeah. my mate Frankie says that she's his second wife and he says exactly the same to me. He adores yeah. her and he's the nicest man on the planet. So if he says it, it must be true. Yeah. 
Um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. You've made me a moche again, Jimbo. Um, yeah, Jim's always telling me my biggest fault. Is, he always says to me, why do you put yourself down all the time? There's millions of people who do that for you, but it's just, that's probably my biggest thing in life. I self-deprecate all the time. I don't big myself up about anything. Um, that's just who I am. Um, that won't change, I don't think. Um, uh, great show, great people, and the greatest chat. Have a good day. Big up to you, Destiny. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh, that's a different show, Jim. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. I can't believe what an emotional wreck I am, Jim. I, you know when this finishes, I'm going to have a good old cry because I can feed it. Um, <laughs> and, and I've done all my eye makeup nice today. Oh, that's um, what a shame. I am back tonight at 6 on the terrace for the top six show. You didn't know I was on there, did you, Jimbo? By no. Um, I'm on there at six. And then Jimbo, myself, Ellie and Mia are back tomorrow at 12.30 for the um, Premier League build-up show, which should be a great show because there's some brilliant games this weekend. Um, I'm not sure who Arsenal... Oh, Arsenal have got City. Yeah, that's going to be a, that's going to be a fantastic game. I'm really looking forward to that. So is, yes. where, where, where is it at? Is it at City, City. or at Arsenal? Yeah, it's at City. I think City will. Uh, I think Arsenal will win because um, Edison's out. Stones and Walker both. Mm, Akanji. Mm, Tommy Atto and Partey are back. Saka and Martinelli are iffy, but I just got a feeling Arsenal going to win that game. Um, you're a top man, Jim, and Kate's an angel. What a lovely pair of human beings you are. Something the world could do with a lot more of. Oh, don't. Um, you don't, Tom, because you start me off. Tom, again, another one. We're going to... Um, uh, there is another it? Kate. Her sister's got a heart of gold as well. Um, what am I talking about? Oh, we're going to North London Diary. So if anyone wants to meet up, we're meeting up with the world. Yeah, Good Friday tomorrow as well, which means that it's nearly Easter Sunday. Uh, is it Easter Sunday? Yeah, where we get chocolate. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm so excited. That's one thing to look forward to, Easter eggs. Uh, yeah, the empty head, that's where it's at. Um, so, yeah, that should be a good show tomorrow. Oh, I keep going to end the show and keep waffling. Thank you again, everyone, all the Super Chats, all your generous um, memberships, giving, donating. But most importantly, for everyone that's come in that shared this story and just been a part of today's show, it really means the world to us both. Um, have a fantastic Thursday. If you're not doing anything at six, come over to the terrace and yeah, say hi because I'll be there. Um, and yeah, anything you want to say, Jimbo, before we go? Come on, you fucking Spurs, we love you. <laughs> That's Jim's new room. Oh, look, oh Steve, D. oh, Steve D, are you joking? Do you not know about the interview? I can't go through it again, Steve. I've only just stopped crying. I can't go through it again. But hey, Richie did an interview yesterday, just briefly, um, to say that he's suffering with severe, or he was suffering with severe depression until he reached out to a psychologist. Um, <laughs> the you'll have to watch my show again. The video is on Talksport and it's also on ESPN. So yeah, that's so it was a bit of a mental health stream today. That was all, but um, good to see you anyway, Steve. So yeah, as always. Have a great day, everyone. And yeah, go on, Jimbo. Come on, you fucking Spurs. We love you. <laughs> and be kind. Yeah.